Good evening all, hope you're well. Um, just a little update on a couple of pipes that I'm working on. Um, this one is uh, unfinished. And I actually started on two blocks, um, not, not quite simultaneously, but um, I selected the blocks, two blocks before starting on, uh, on, on the actual pipes. I usually select a block, make the pipe to its completion and then move to the next one. Um, but today I just decided I wanted to make two of a similar shape um, but different. So this first one here is still quite raw. Um, this one is um, an apple. Uh, it's going to be a bent apple. Um, but if you can see, this one, I haven't uh, sort of sanded this to completion because um, I've still got to sand it a little bit more, but I'm going to sand it off for sandblasting. You can see the, the ring grain. It's really quite apparent and it should have a lovely sandblast. So this is going to get a little bit more sanding just to get the shape out. You can see there's some ridges here which need sanding out. Um, but um, and there's a few little sort of scars here and there, but the sandblasting should take care of that, hopefully. A little bit of uh, a fissure there. But I'm hoping that the sandblasting will get through all of that. Um, and you can see really this very concentrated ring grain there. So I'm hoping that will come out well. Um, so that's number one. Left a little bit of a plateau on the top there. A very neat looking pipe it's well drilled and by the time you can see literally the ring grain goes it's i mean obviously this bright this block um, was actually at a completely different angle but as soon as i got into the block and started sanding it before i even drew on it um the, drew the shape on it i could see the the ring grain it was actually at an angle like that um but i sort of twisted it and drew on it to give the ring grain symmetry and i hope it'll work out we'll see in the final analysis and the second block um, I've made into a, a straight chubby apple. So both apple shapes. And that's this fella here, rusticated, with a smooth rim on top. Nice chubby apple. And um, it's still a bit dusty in there. See the drill there, and that's you can see that without me even putting the light on it, it's dead center. There's a German silver band on it, and um, acrylic Cumberland, and just a, a nice apple. Um, this has got a uh, button polish on it at the moment, so it's really just uh, a slightly golden um, shellac. It's got a bit of a sort of a beige golden colour to it. Um, I was toying with the idea of actually staining it black, um, but I decided to try this and see how it, how it looks. Uh, I'm not too sure. Um, we shall see if there's a response. If somebody wants it, then obviously I'll sell it as it is. It's how it was attend intended. Um, but, you know, black is always safe. Um, so um, if anybody's interested, by all means get in touch. If you prefer a black, I'll stay in it black. If you like it as it is, I'll leave it as it is. Um, so uh, yeah, that's pipe number. I think it's 171. Let me just have a quick look. It is indeed pipe 171. I haven't actually been in the workshop for a few days now. Um, so this is really the first pipe to come out for about three or four days. And uh, there we have it, a chubby apple, pipe 171, if you're interested, get in touch. Thank you very much, catch you on the next one.